Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about the Jenkins pipelines along with webhooks. Okay, so first of all, we'll see what is Jenkins pipeline. Okay, so if you see some images, so if you see the what is the pipeline means, for example, you are working on some projects. So for, for example, you are working on project or some developers are working on this project. So, so if they want to clone their application, so code will be there in the repository like GitHub or any other repository at the Bitbucket. So first they will do the checkout in their local system and do the changes and they will commit to the changes. Once they committed the changes, it will go to the repository. Once changes is reflected into the main, and that build process will trigger automatically. Once the build process is triggered from the Jenkins side also, it will do the build, test, deployment. These three it will follow, if you see. So like that Jenkins also, what it will do? It will first check out the branch and it will build and it will test, it will run all the test cases and it will stages and it will deploy, okay? This is the complete flow. So this whole flow will do it using the Jenkins pipeline process, okay? clear on this topic will implement this case in the Jenkins let's get started so first of all for that one we need to go with that uh, github I have a project here I'll just clone this project and uh, as my repository it is a swagger right so we need to give project name is the swagger so it will easily understand okay so here we need to select the project name is pipeline okay so this is the Java project. So here we are using Java, Spring Boot and Mobile. These are the three we are using. If you see here, we don't have the plugins for Mobile. So first what we need to do before creating this pipeline project, first we need to download these plugins into this uh, Jenkins. So for that one, we need to go to the manage Jenkins. So if you are working any other uh, projects or like Docker or Python, so whatever the dependencies you require, those plugins you need to download from here. Okay, manage Jenkins. Here click on the plugins and you can click the available plugins. Here you need to give the Marvin. So it will show the Marvin integration. You can just install this. So it will take some time to install all these plugins. So we need to install two plugins. One is for Marvin and JDK. JDK anyway available, but we need to just set up the environment. Okay. Started the dependencies. Now we'll create new project. So I'm given project name is a Swagger. So see now we are able to see Marvin project here and click on the pipelines. Click on OK. Now here you need to give the description. This is Swagger pipeline. So now we are uh, going to add the webhooks right to the GitHub repository. So here you can select the Git webhook trigger from the Git SCM pooling. And now we can come to the pipeline scripting so here we need to give some scripting for example if you select so this is one pipeline agent is any stage hello this is simple script here so if you want you can save and you can run the build and it will automatically execute this one so okay so now what our task is so here is our uh, github repository so we need to connect this github repository and check out this uh, branch and uh, it should be build this branch and test this branch and run this branch so these are the steps we need to add inside the pipeline script okay come to the swagger so for that one already created some code i'll copy from this if you see here i'm check out i'm doing the checkout from this branch i'm running the me and clean install and i'm running that the jar okay remove and put and you can save 
so where you will get also we have some few facilities here if you click on the pipeline syntax so here you will get some git syntax as well so you need to give your repository name and what is the branch you want it will give those uh, syntax for that pipeline syntax means this pipeline syntax it will give okay so right now it is not required already i'm having that pipeline also okay so now apply and save okay so what you configured here is now so we are added some uh, pipeline script okay so now if you trigger from here it will do the process so when you click on the build now see build is started so you are doing the checkout build because uh, right now we are using checkout build deploy okay once build is done it will start the deployment also means we are running this uh, jar file in our local system only using the back command so this is i'm running in manually after this one will integrate with webhooks whenever this commit commit will come to that uh, repository automatically this jenkins pipeline will trigger okay we'll see that one so we'll see the locks also click this one and click on the console output and we can see the locks so i think build is success build success now application is running it means it is uh, doing the deployment okay so now what we need to do so if you want to test this one also you can test in the logs itself it will give up all the logs information for this in which port number the service is running if you see local host it is running on 9898 running on tdp local host 9898 i think api slash okay this is the api now what you need to do we will stop this one and we'll do this one from the webhooks come here dashboard and i will stop this build process okay now it is stopped yeah it will stop anyway okay now for that one what we need to do so our jenkin is running into our local system right so if you want to do the trigger jenkin job from the github right so we need to enable this ip address as a public otherwise it will not communicate with the github for this one what we need to use we need to install this ngrock so come to this ngrock website and you can just uh, log in before login we need to do some sign up so it is required one email id to do the sign up first so i am using login with gmail so i am using some different email id so it will give some uh, limited tokens actually so within the time range only we can use it will automatically expire once that time token will reach to that maximum okay i'll i need to log in the G from the google so it is asking some questions so i mentioned like application developer and there is some my i need a something you need to select here and development continue see so so we need windows one right so you can click on the windows it will download that and we need to install so already i installed if you type ng doc so it is already available in my system actually ng okay it is not showing let me download this one Jirak windows download for the windows to download windows download it as for your operating system so mine is 64 bit so i'm downloaded the 64 bit you can go to the download system and you can just extract it so 
I'll extract in the W drive. Okay, it is done. And you can come here. This is the ngrock. So we need to run this one first. ngrock, it is a exe file. So it is starting. And we need to follow these commands. It is copy this one. And you need to execute this command. So, so once you downloaded ngrock, and we need to double double click on the file so it will open this command prompt and we can uh, execute this command this is the first command this is a id authenticating once it is authenticating we need to run this one localhost 8080 so our jenkin is running on 8080 right so we can click on the 8080 so it is giving one url because it is converting our uh, localhost ip into some public ip okay you can copy this url to check it is working fine or not you can click on widget site see this is na automatically navigating to my my jenkins if you see this is one public ip uh, automatically now na navigating to my local uh, jenkins you can click on admin and admin click on okay see it is logged in now so this is converting our uh, private ip means local host into the some public ip okay this is done now so what we need to do this see so this one we need to configure in our uh, jenkins okay how to configure that one we'll see now okay copy this one So you need to add this public URL into your GitHub repository. Okay. Come to your GitHub repository and you can click on the settings. So in the settings, we have webhooks and here you need to create a new webhook for this one. So we need to enter your password. okay so here payload url so here we need to use this web book, okay so if you see this is the public uh, url that is generated from the ngrock and after that we need to do a small change in git iphone hub and webhook okay so if you want you can mention this response as this and whatever you want okay and here you should be the active and here you need to mention push every event okay now you can click on the add webhook so webhook is added now okay now come into the jenkins we are added web webhook into that okay now in the configuration we need to just check that github will trigger from the git sem port okay this is also we need to check okay now we can do one commit directly and we will see it will trigger or not so this is the process to add the webhook into your github repository okay